Okay, this is a quick video about the basic navigation of the TraumaSoft EPCR app. So let's start with the basic layout of it. This is a two-tier kind of system. At the top tier, you have things like your incidents, your patient, vitals, treatment, etc. This tier never changes. Those options will always be available to you. Just below it, you have the second tier, and each of these tabs are a category that relates to the current selection you have on the top tier. So things for incident are things going to be like response, scene, destination, times, etc. And if you change over to another tab on the top tier, like patient, you notice that the second tier changes to match the categories that would go along with patient. You see there's a lot of red things. Those are going to be required items that you have to complete before you're able to submit the chart. And it's really simple to make selections in TraumaSoft. Uh, it's very touchscreen friendly. So you just pick one of the selections here from the green selections and you answer the question. So for type of service requested, I'm going to put emergency response and then answers the question. Now, if for whatever reason you don't know what the question is really about, you can get a description of it just by clicking on it. And it gives you a quick paragraph describing what the selection really is. Most of the selections are single pick and it fulfills the questions. Some also may be multiple pick, like this one here, this is mode descriptors. You have things like lights and sirens, scheduled, non-scheduled, etc. Pick as many of the descriptors as possible that match with the uh, current question. Some other options that it's going to give you in different ways to pick things are by adding some things. So I went over to the third tab um, for vitals, and we're going to add a vital sign. So I'm going to click add, and we're going to go through a real basic just uh, addition of a vital sign. So let's say the date and time I take this vital was right now. It's a stock blood pressure. I go ahead and put in a number. Click X and keep going through. This was a automated cuff. Heart rate was 78. I took that by cardiac monitor. Pulse ox was 99. Regular pulse. And you just keep going through fulfilling all the roles that are required. Your GCS is automatically calculated for you based on your selections. Pain score. And your stroke score. So once you fulfill all the red areas, now your vital signs are filled there. That's one complete set of vitals for you.